Okay. So my name is Purity uh, YD. I'm from Kenya. Um, here together with Mary in the same team, language and content growth. Um, I'm part of the Inuka team where we mostly do experiments. Uh, we try out new concepts that uh, either are brought to us through research, those who've attended Mike's uh, presentation, the one that just ended, his team um, sometimes shares with us uh, findings of reports that become part of experiments, or others are uh, ideas that come from communities. Um, so today we're going to talk about future audiences strategy for African communities. I don't know if there's anyone who's heard about future audiences. In the annual plan. OK. So uh, let me give a bit of background. So this this particular year, uh, product and tech sort of put their work in three major buckets. So one of the buckets is wiki experiences, uh, where the focus is looking at tools uh, for the editors and making it fit for purpose. So that's where a majority of the work is going into. The other part of the, the the second bucket is data and signals because we are the foundation is aware that uh, we need signals, we need data, we need insights to make good decisions. So part of the work that uh, the engineers and the product teams get involved in is within the foundation is looking at data infrastructure that allows us to have data and uh, signals. Then the third one is future audiences, which is what we are here to talk about. So. This third bucket uh, takes a smaller fraction of the work that product and tech team does, where we are aware that there's a lot happening outside our ecosystem that we need to have our pulse on. Um, if you, I'll keep referencing Mike's and also giving context to those who have just come in, um, is that we are getting to see new trends, how people are reading, how people are consuming knowledge, how people are creating knowledge, it's really, really changing. So even as a foundation or as a movement, we can't, we can't, just, we can't say stay blind to the fact that things are changing around us and we have to keep our pals um, on it. So that's where we have, uh, the, the foundation said, okay, we, a part of our work is to look at what are these new areas that are happening? Can we experiment with them? And the reason why we are here is to uh, double down on the African context. How does that look like uh, in our perspective? Because for us, we look at it from a global perspective, but when, when, we, when we are coming here, we want to look at it from an African perspective. What's happening to knowledge seekers? So I'm gonna keep referencing younger audiences or younger readers or emerging audiences or knowledge seekers. So those are people who are coming to us either directly or indirectly to look for content or knowledge, or even if they're not coming to us, they are going to other platforms to look for knowledge and how do we bridge that gap? Because we, I think we have the capabilities of, of doing it. Um, so go to the next slide. So, so far, um, one of the things we try to do is map out the ecosystem. What do we have right now? Um, and this is where we have. Don't go to the. English. Yeah. So this is where we are at. Status quo. Uh, Wikipedia is mostly um, a such driven sort of uh, destination. People come to us through Google. That's how people, most people, find us. But we are getting to see that. Um, there, there are a subset of readers and knowledge seekers who come to us either via the app or come to us directly on the Wikipedia site. So that's another, you know, another uh, state we, we see that there's potential. Um, another state that we see where knowledge seek, we are seeing uh, potentially knowledge seeking is that our content could also be everywhere as opposed to just our content being on Wikipedia only. Can our content be on TikTok? We are asking ourselves, can our content be on YouTube? Because we know that younger readers are no longer spending time on Google. They are spending more and more time on other uh, 
um, third party platforms. Um, and then the third state, the, the, yeah, the fourth state is the internet functions. We are also aware that there are partners, let me call them partners or other organizations that regard our content very highly. We, our brand is very strong as being a trusted source. So I don't know if anyone has been reading the news and you've seen that TikTok has done an experiment this year where if you search, let's say, for Nelson Mandela on TikTok, it will surface Wikipedia results. I mean, you've seen that. Uh, so it's, it's not in all countries. So if you try it here, you won't find it, but it's in specific countries. So TikTok is aware that over and above the content that creators are making, Wikipedia's content is reliable and they want to surface it. And that's the, 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 the state C. We become the internet conscience because of the, the way our content is, is put together. So we are calling all this all these efforts or what we are seeing around us as future audiences. Um, and, and we are seeing this um, emerging trend of how people are looking for content online. It's, it's changing. People are using AI to look for content. Uh, if you listen to Mike's presentation, people want to just skim through and go to the specific thing. The other, other guys who want to read through every single statement, the guys who prefer uh, videos over audio, others want audio over video, others want both text and images. So all this is happening around us. And for us, we're asking ourselves, what is it that's within uh, the movement, what's, with, what's within our control that we can do or we can use. And just doubling down to, to us as Africans, um, our question is like, our, our question is, are we seeing any difference or are we seeing a certain trend or pattern within the African context? Have you seen anything that is so unique about how people read in Africa that we can also, you know, other than just looking at it from a global perspective, is there another lens or a much closer lens we can put and also consider as we're experimenting? Uh, because we don't want to experiment with the assumption that what we see in the North and the West or the East is what is happening in Africa and the, the needs of readers in Africa uh, could be different. So the next sort of couple of minutes, I won't be talking much. It will be mostly like conversational and idea generating just to pick our brains. Um, they are mostly just four questions. Uh, we use Mentimeter. We want to just take a look at what do we have right now? I'm sure if we think through, we could see what we've done so far, there's been strides we've made um, about how uh, we've done projects or we have solutions around uh, younger readers. Are there any gaps? And what can we start to do, either from a community perspective or even for us uh, within the product teams? What can we start to experiment with that would um, bridge that gap? So, yeah, let me stop there first for questions and in the same light, you guys can scan the QR code, the QR code, sorry, and get on to the question. Any, any thoughts? Is, is everyone there? Anyone has challenges? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Um, my name is Sadiq from Nigeria, and I'm very happy to have attended this session. Um, actually, my observation recently um, is on uh, how people consume knowledge, uh, especially the young ones, the young generations, um, from uh, age from age uh, 14 to 25 or what. Um, what I noticed in them is that uh, most of them they find uh, a kind a, a wall of text uh, somehow uh, boring. They feel like what 
before the hair comes out and I'm going to So I need this and I spend much time um, using uh, this other social media uh, more than the educational platforms like social media. So I'm just thinking if this will be possible, just an idea or an observation that if we can, uh, can we do something like uh, maybe uh, because I attended the session at uh, the Minimis Hall, which uh, uh, someone was talking about AI and how we can use first speech to um, to actually write an article and to reach an article and to, to read an article. Somehow, you know, visuals and some other things. I don't know, just saying generally, if that can be possible. So that even if you can't switch, but you still can get knowledge and facts, these are what to search for online. And that can easily be can easily get that to Wikipedia if we can get that to the I think that we are going to have more. More relaxed experience because we can't do them off platform if we want to target the platform. So that's those are some of the things we are thinking about, but we also need the communities to embrace the fact that we must experiment, we must be open to experiment and then see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to read on this point. Uh, sometimes I really find it very confusing for what's in the internet. Because sometimes you find them on social media and you see them on these spaces. Having so many uh, word pics, <laughs> as well as uh, <laughs> as well as videos, images, they could stay on that for more than three, uh, ten hours, going through different stories because we see all these stories on Facebook. So, and we also have these things on Wikipedia where you see both texts and you see images as well. Well, why would you just prefer to spread all? Five hours on Facebook, reading really those same image, we're going through those same texts and images as well. And we have videos on comments. Why? Uh, sometimes I feel like maybe the solution is actually trying to make Wikipedia look like the way it appears on Facebook, where you have those images, videos, uh, and texts as well. So it's just a confusing generation sometimes. <laughs> you don't actually do what they really want. So I, I just wanted to add that, share my own uh, experience of working with the youth. We have 10 minutes here, um, and we haven't even done that. Oh, sorry. Yes. So let me pause. Some of it you can add as because there are prompts as part of it, and we try to be very fast about it. Uh, two questions. Yes. But to yours, yes. Um, Young readers, it feels confusing, but purity. Oh. Part of the um, that has been done, we found out that I as for when I'm doing my homework, I can go to Wikipedia. So a human, let me call it a human being, can have different motivations and be on different platforms for different things. So that's one, it's not, it's confusing, but it's not confusing. But that's some of the insights that Mike, the, the, the presenter before, uncovered during the research that shows that one individual can have multiple motivations and they can rely on different platforms to get their reading. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, just to add to that, I think there's this uh, new uh, initiative <laughs> where they are coming up with having like their own TikTok space mm -hmm. where they can maybe share about what they are doing. And I think other Wikimedia communities should also adopt things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you want to so that we can move really quickly. Some of the questions do oh thank you. I don't think the same answered this question already. 
Yeah, this is the first question. That was a question. How can we best describe the current digital? So what are we seeing, which is what she has mentioned a bit, is what are we going to answer? What are we seeing in the current uh, landscape in terms of knowledge seekers? What, what trends are we seeing? What's so unique? What observations have we made? How readers consume or seek knowledge within the content? Videos and keywords. Uh, I said because of pressure and large amounts of text, video and speech is the best way. People want short text, probably this one more to pictures or creative videos. Short text forms, spend time to get the information they need. Okay. Maybe we can go to the next one because of time. The second question was around what are some of the projects that currently exist in the community to address the needs of our young African leaders? That is something we are interested in because we know communities do a lot of work, and maybe you guys have some very interesting ways you navigate this space, and we are curious to know what you have done. Digital skills for you, Katina Jutor, yeah. It's a project that is one projects. Or something. Yes. 
Technologies or innovations can be explored that could address the needs of young African peoples. I think it's a lot about AI, text to speech, visual stuff, video. How do you think we could incorporate it onto projects? We are just Yeah, so that's what I can say because I know there are students already that are very interested. I don't have time. 
I just want to make a rather unprofessional pushback to all them with the question of art. So it, it's good that we are talking about how to get more people. Wikipedia. But first of all, Wikipedia is uh, an insight. And currently, people think Wikipedia is better than Wikipedia. What I'm trying to say is that the more we try to make Wikipedia into a social media platform, we risk driving down. So, um, it may not be the most popular ways of thinking about this, but I just feel we're going down that rabbit hole of trying to make Wikipedia look so sleek and picturesque and, you know, with the flowers that I'm taking the wrong one. Yeah. Um, the, the thing we are also aware that we cannot be TikTok, yeah. but we can't, we can't also bury our head in the sand knowing that there is a generation that thinks very differently from what we are able to offer. So I think if there's, there's a sweet spot we can come, we can find that we remain authentic to the kind of content that we have, but still remain relevant to a young reader who's by the, by the time they get to 18, the only thing they know is 300 characters only and an image. That's how they read. So, yeah. That's pretty So, I feel that it's the role of third-party tools or third-party applications to take the responsibility of making big data. You know, exchange our feelings with young people rather than the, the front-facing platform itself. And in the case of uh, Wikidata, as my sister just said, there are a plethora of tools around it, and there's more fun and interesting. But not the project itself, tools around it. Okay. I hope you put that into the. <laughs> oh, is, is it still uh, down? Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. This was quite insightful. Sorry for going over time. Yeah.